How's it going everyone? It's Max Fisher here from A Better Universe. It's your Fired Up Fridays and it is pissing rain right now. Uh, if you guys live on the East Coast, you probably already know. Probably had experience in some of this uh, cat and dog weather right here, but um, we decided to stay inside for the video today, me and Butterboo. So, today I want to talk about some karma. My buddy yesterday loses his phone, freaks out, makes up this story in his head that he doesn't even know if it's true, that somebody picked up his phone, starts you know, freaking out more, gets angry, somebody he doesn't even know exists, doesn't even know if it happened, says karma's a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Karma is a bitch sometimes. But the problem is people think that karma is like some godly guilt justifier out there in the world or bad or negative justifier in the world. Let me explain to you what karma really is. You don't... For all of us who or in personal development, we know the universal law of attraction doesn't take sides, doesn't, you know, doesn't know between good and bad. Whatever you think, whatever your energy is, it'll I'll put that in a manifestation. So that's all that karma is. Now when people say, you know, good and bad karma, stuff like that, all they're really saying is, this is the manifestation of what I think I deserve. So if you feel guilty about the things you did, if you feel, if you have negative emotions and energy and let's say a uh, business aspect that you created, you're going to, if you know you got over on somebody and you don't feel right about that, that's going to manifest into, you know, a guilt, which in that in turn will be justified by yourself and your manifestation and later in life and you'll think oh this is karma I deserve this well the only reason why you deserve it is because you think you deserve it that's the only reason why it manifested itself in the way it did now because it's the it's the universal law of attraction that determines your karma it's it's not an, it's not some higher being that says you were doing wrong and now your karma is this all it is is a a built-up karmatic energy, a certain amount of emotion, uh, thought, and action that hasn't totally manifested itself into your life. And for a lot of us, we have a huge built-up karmatic process of, you know, guilt, jealousy, anger, spite, all these things, all all those negative emotions that don't necessarily help you getting to where you want to be. Because if you don't feel with those feelings, they just output more of that manifestation into life. If you feel like you did something wrong, you're going to have a guilt about that and it'll manifest itself into being justified because the that's what the human wants. That's what the human mind and subconscious wants is, you know, for you to uh, be a good moral human being and when you're not, there's that inside, uh, little ticker or little consciousness that says, you know, eh, maybe that wasn't right. And some of it is, actually, you know what, a lot of it is probably, you know, based on your culture, religion, your social upbringing. All those things definitely feed into what our beliefs and what we think is right and wrong. So it's good to check in and, um, you know, check the validity of, the, of your beliefs and stuff like that because the karma is only what you make of it. And if you make it out to be that you deserve to have these negative things happen to you, then that is your karmatic process that you built up yourself. In the universe, there's really no such thing as good and bad. It's only in our perception that things are good and bad. So if you would like more good things to happen into your life, um, you can't, can't be feeling guilty about what you didn't get accomplished, you can't be feeling guilty about, you know, accidents of misfortune, whether it happened to you or others. Um, you can't put out, you know, bad energy to 
situations that you're not even sure about. That's why we always have to observe without judgment because we never truly understand. If you don't truly understand and have that thing within your experience, really, you're just fabricating stories in your mind. Your perception is off. It's shifted. It's, it shifts away from reality and you start building a karmatic process into manifestation. And for a lot of us, our karmatic process is so built up with all these uh, thoughts and emotions that once we start trying to take control of our mind and emotions and our body and our energy, we'll have a whole flood of just shit happen to us because there's so much built up uh, energy that hasn't manifested itself into reality yet. So keep that in mind. Once you start to take advantage of these, of this opportunity to control your mind, body, and spirit, don't get discouraged when you know you start practicing the law of attraction, or meditation, or you know um, all these different forms of uh, realization. Don't be surprised if shit starts to hit the fan for a little while, depending on you know the level of you know, the level of karmatic process that you built up, how intensely your life has led up to this point, whether it's negative or positive. And like, like we all said, you know, there's good karma and there's bad karma, but really it's only the karma that you receive is only the karma that you think you deserve. So in that aspect, also think to yourself, um, don't try not to feel guilty if you don't you know, accomplish what you want to in that day, because realistically, if you've done all you could do and there's only 24 hours and you've made a stride and um, there's nothing to feel guilty about there and if you do feel guilty you're just not really helping yourself out because you're building up a negative karmatic process for yourself um, and that guilt is ultimately uh, in a belief that you don't deserve it because you have XYZ going on or haven't done XYZ so with all that said, I mean, this is our Fired Up Fridays, guys, and uh, I just want you to think about, you know, all that, maybe all that bad karma, bad quote-unquote bad karma that you built up this week at work. Maybe it's, uh, you know, your co-workers are pissing you off or being lazy or whatever the hell they're doing, you know, don't, there's no reason to put negative energy out there for them, for you, for anybody, really. So keep that in mind and uh, just keep just keep trying to do the right thing, guys, because ultimately it's going to come down to your own consciousness on what you believe is right and wrong in your social upbringing. Um, this is a... This is a long process of change, guys. It's not a quick fix or nothing like that. You're not going to find any of that uh, to be truly effective and sustainable in life. There's no such thing as a quick fix, in my opinion. But there are certain elements that if you take control of, your life will change drastically and dramatically in a very short and intense period of time. Um, then you start to, you know, just like a workout, you'll... You'll hit some peaks and then you'll plateau and you'll hit some peaks and then you'll plateau and you'll hit your, you'll hit your peaks and plateau. Taking control of your mind, body and energy is just a process of stepping up to the ultimate. Every single portion of it. So let's, uh, this, this Fired Up Friday, let's try and get past some of these plateaus get past some of your spite, your jealousy, your negative emotions that might be building up karmatic energy that you're not going to really want to manifest into your life. Let's start thinking a little deeper on what we actually think about throughout the day. Let's start making um, conscious decisions and how we feel about situations and observing without judgment so that way we can make the the best and most clear and defined um, decision out of you know, something that might not, um, that might have affected us emotionally and, and intellectually that we perceived in a way that, you know, wasn't pleasant to us, but there's a way to change that, you know, we can look at things in a different light always. Um, changing your perception is just, 
just part of it, just seeing what's more real than the problem is we think things that are are more real than they are and um, and that comes with the perception of the mind and the ego that backs it up. So, Fired Up Fridays, I mean, we're going to go right into the Weekend Warrior Series. We're day 54 right now, we're moving right along. And uh, don't feel guilty about what you didn't accomplish. Be happy with what you did, because we don't want to build up any of that negative karmatic energy. We don't want that process to hold us back anymore in these next seven days and then the next... 100 and 300 and I don't know 160,000 whatever days you got left on this earth we don't want any of that shit we don't want that to hold us back so take the time this weekend Friday get fired up figure out what's holding you back figure out you know why you're holding on to it and just let some of that bad energy go let some of that guilt go let some of that anger, hate, and jealousy go, because in this world, it's either moving you towards your goals or away from them. There's no neutral gray ground or anything like that, and for every action has an equal and opposite reaction, so with everything in this universe being energy, it's, uh, it's directly affected by that, um, by that saying right there, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So keep that in mind. It's Fired Up Friday. This is Max Fisher from A Better Universe. Your mind-body-spirit connection. I hope to see you guys at the Weekend Warrior. Peace.